So when I first started playing soccer, um, it was when my dad took me to the park right next to our house. I was maybe four or five years old, and you know, he just showed me how to kick a ball. I feel like everyone says this, but I guess my biggest role model is my dad as well. You know, he's just always been there for me throughout my whole life, and what he's done so well for me is that he's always pushed me to become the best version of myself I can be. There was a point in my life where, you know, my dad sat me down and said, listen, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your career? I think maybe I was 15 or 16 at this point, and, you know, I told him, oh, I'm going to go play pro soccer in Europe. You know, I'm going to make a living off of that. You know, my dad said, yeah, you can become a student athlete in the U.S., you can do your academics and play soccer at a high level as well. So at that point, I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then I started reaching out to coaches. You know, I called, um, at that time, it was Bobby Clark here. He was the coach. I called him up just saying, hey, I'd, be, I'd love to come to Notre Dame. Um, how should I get the recruitment process started? And he, you know, he mentioned that I should come out to campus and you know, attend one of the camps so that he could see me in person. I flew out to the U.S. and I did um, you know, like a whole U.S. tour, kind of. And then, you know, obviously, after the one here at Notre Dame, Bobby Clark you know, was really nice about it. I was fortunate enough to receive an offer from here. So I guess that specific goal against Syracuse, I mean, you know, I thought to myself, I'm feeling really good today and I'm hitting these balls really well. I just need to keep these free kicks a little lower and put it on frame because, you know, the way I'm hitting these balls, I know it's going to go in eventually. I think, you know, the locker room is one of my favorite spots because it's where our teammates always go, you know, it's where our team always is. And it's so special because even on our off days, you know, you'd have 10, 15, 20 guys show up in the locker room and we don't have practice, but people just want to be with the team, you know. It's something that I've grown to love and really appreciate is just the bond we have within our team.